Yikes. All right, so the underlying, underlying energy is the Five of Cups. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I had a feeling there was something really bad that happened. And it's a struggle because I think you guys really do feel the connection. I think that's the thing. The connection is there. It's just why it's hard to kind of shift the focus away from what you've been through. But I feel like considering that you guys have had, you have history here, it can be very hard to move forward, but that's the, you know that's that's the thing. That's what we're working with. This relationship is definitely um, definitely strong because you know there. It hasn't been a whole breakup. Nobody's broken up with anybody. Now, the Ten of Swords may, have, may suggest a breakup or some sort of pause. I don't think that's the case. I personally believe that with that Ten of Swords, something definitely ended. But that doesn't mean that the connection between you both has severed, all right? And, and sometimes that can mean a breakup. Sometimes it means that something in, t in that relationship, like a breaking of trust um, or, or a loyalty, that may be, may be faulty. But that doesn't mean that it can't be fixed. Now, the mentality going into the relationship does indicate that this may be someone that has broken up or someone that's separated. Because you hear, uh, this is how I read my clients. So, Leo, this would be your side. You know, the person would be the other person's side. But, you know, feel free to oscillate if this isn't you. Since this is a general reading for everybody. Um, um, you know, Leo-oriented or cross-watcher. But... Somebody or you definitely taking some time out, you know, this relationship right now, definitely thinking about it, trying to heal from it, really doing some soul searching, and you're trying to find it within yourself to continue to make this relationship work, make this relationship happen. I think the other person over here is looking to try to make, create a balance here. It's trying to make things equal in the best way that they possibly can when it comes to spending time together, communication. You know, things are trying to, this person here is trying to really fix the relationship while this person over here is taking some time out to really kind of get in touch with their inner selves to understand and figure out what they need to um, understand about themselves before even can getting into this. Now, the Ace of Cups does make a lot of sense here because especially if this is you, Leo, this is the Ace of Cups situation where one, it means us, right? the self so there's a lot of self in you know self-discovery that's going into this which is totally understandable okay considering that you know what you guys are going through right now is a breach in trust or breach in in um in commitments right you guys both went into this with the potential for there to be a stable and strong relationship but the problem now is the commitment is the is the actually going there and really f believing in the relationship 100% to commit to it. Now, again, like this person here, I feel like they're trying to get themselves together. They're trying to work with you if, or, you know, you working with them. There's a lot of balancing with this person here. Or this person wants to get things balanced. The way they kind of see this relationship is that they do get something out of it, as well as they want to give of themselves as well. I think this is a good balanced situation. Oh, this person wants a healthy dynamic in the relationship. But how they're presenting themselves is very fast and very quick. I feel like this person really wants things to just move on, to get to me, you know, to move forward. I think this person really wants to just forgive and and, and keep moving forward. I don't think this person over here is pushing this other person here. Uh, because simply because this person's checked out. The person is thinking of themselves and healing of themselves. They're detached or they're separate from the outside world. They're really doing some soul searching. So this person is really trying to make great progress. And I think this person is making great progress. I think how this person is presenting themselves is definitely showing that they're doing a lot of good stuff for themselves and therefore can potentially do good things for the relationship. And it brings back to this individual that has the devil. I feel like this person is, or if this isn't you, Leo, this person is definitely trying to gain their power back, right? I think the reason why they're in hermit mode has to do with the fact that they are, you know, they're trying to reclaim their power. It's very interesting that the devil does come up with it when it comes to this kind of situation because it can it can it can feel like this person is connected to this individual and it kind of not in a tr like this person feels trapped and they want to be set free but more of like they want to find themselves in this in a situation where they may have lost themselves now every time we get into a relationship there is a piece of us that's gone with that right when it when it ends usually especially because we dedicate that piece of us into that relationship and we, and we understand ourselves and get to know ourselves and we, we experience different things that ultimately change us. And I think that this person here is having a hard time finding themselves in a situation, you know, finding themselves after a situation hasn't, has kind of 
you know, taking a turn for something that's undesirable. Now, I, the reason why I was saying I don't think anybody broke up is because this person is showing that they're still in a relationship. They're still connected. They're still, you know, tied to this person here. And that's why I feel it, you know, and the two, sorry, the Six of Pentacles, that to me is just showing me that, are you ready? That five, that five of Cups, the Two of Cups portion is still there. But everybody's focusing on what's gone, what's, what's left, what's, what's hurting. Um, what, 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 what is no longer there, right? What has been taken away or removed from the situation? And I feel like this person over here, they're having a hard time a little bit. Maybe not having a hard time, but they're having to really find their power in a situation where they don't feel like they have a lot of power. They're trying to find themselves in a situation where they felt powerless. Now, why do they feel all this way? Why do they feel powerless? Is because they're releasing some old stuff. They're forgiving. They're they're um, accepting the past for what it was, and they're trying to embrace the new. And the way they have to embrace the new is recognizing that they have the power within them to make that new life a better life than they've had before. Right? To kind of you know in a way. So. Whatever happened here in the past, they're releasing this oldness. Like, they're trying to cling on to old behaviors. I think this person is reacting to, you know, in an old way or doing old stuff or behaving old, you know, in an old way. But it's just them adjusting and recognizing that their behaviors then work then, but may not work now, right? The dev devil and the, de and the death card together, that is an indication to me that somebody may be reacting or doing things or behaving in old fashions, but they're coming to real realize that this old way of doing stuff is not how it's it can't work that way anymore death is a very tough energy for great reasons that's why you know this is scorpionic energy scorpios have to deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis and you know what this here is this transformational period for this individual leos of this is you leos you're having to change just things that you have to that you're changing about yourself your patterns behaviors you know your belief systems all of that's being changed so that way you can have an opportunity to make a new relation make a new um um opportunity um the best opportunity that you possibly can you know what i mean because what does death do, right? It makes space for something new. It makes space for new life. And in order for there to be new life, you have to cleanse the old. You have to, to you have to remove the you have to remove the things that are holding up that space for you to be able to uh, to do more. And that is the old stuff. That is the old patterns of behavior. So the old reasons as to why we even go back to that. So this is a lot of healing that this individual is doing, and it's all major, right? You see, this is all major arcana. This is a very intense, very difficult time for this individual. If this is if this isn't you, Leo, because you're this is all major arcanas. That's how you know this is tough. But they're trying their best. I feel like the hermit energy and death here. It's all for cleansing. I don't think this is person is trying to hold on. Not with the hermit like that. Now, same. Now, I feel the same way with this individual here. They're making great progress because they are acknowledging and they're recognizing their own triggers, their own pains, and they're noticing that the things that hurt them and the things that may not have worked in the past, you know, a certain perspective that may have left them feeling, you know, feeling completely unhealed. If you know what I'm saying, I do feel that this three of swords. In the in this energy, in this um, the intentions energy, the pre the spiritual energy. This is the old stuff that's come back up, the old triggers, um, and I feel like that old trigger, that old trigger is what's influencing the person to come up with better dynamics in the relationship, come up with a better balance in the, in the relationship, make progress, you know, towards a better dynamic in the relationship, right? Towards, um, um you know, starting anew, right? But in order for that to happen, they have to do the same thing this person's doing, which is make space. And how do you do that? How do you make space in your heart? By pulling out the swords, pulling out and recognizing what those swords are and healing those for by forgiveness, by acceptance, and re recognizing your power in the present moment, okay? But it all starts from this pain. I feel like you guys are trying to grow from what you guys have been through, the difficulties the, in the relationships that you guys have been in. If this isn't the if it, if this isn't this relationship, but obviously what brought you two together is Page Pentacles, right? The potential to grow, the potential to create something of stability, um, of so, so something that's stable, something that's secure, something that can last a long time. You know, something that's you know nothing that's like off and on or night hot. Uh, 
hot and cold, night and night and day. Nothing that's going to be temporary. Nothing that's like lighthearted fun, but don't actually have any serious meaning to it. This is something of great value. But the things, the things that you, you know, the both of you are having a, you know, having to deal with as far as the challenges go together is finding your new religion, finding your new commitments to yourself so you can be able to commit to each other. Because in order for you guys to be able to commit to each other, you have to find a new routine, a new way of thinking, a new way of believing, a new structure for your personal well-being in order for you be to in order for you to be able to create new boundaries surrounding relationship. You have to find boundaries for yourself first. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what you guys got for the wisdom of the oracle. Out of breath, guys. I'm gonna be talking so much and I forget to breathe. Look at that. I love it. Wow. I actually like this here. Regeneration. Now, this is very similar to judgment. And the reason why it's similar to judgment is because this talks about things coming back even when it looks like it, there is no way it can recover. Like, if you notice, right, that branch underneath all that fire, that lava, that's mol that, that molten that's pouring away from it, you know, you would think that that lava would have destroyed all that life, right? But you still have a tree that's growing there. It's like nothing is ever truly dead. Nothing is ever truly gone. Things can be healed. Things can, you know, grow. Things can still, um, you know, recover. But it takes time. It takes patience. And it takes compassion. And in order for you to be able to be this beautiful tree that's blossoming after a devastation like a lava or a volcano or whatever or, or an eruption, you have to acknowledge that, you know, there was things that you, you know, that you, uh, you, you know, there's, there's things that, that happened and that didn't happen that you can now put implement into your new life, right? You know what I mean? It's this is a regeneration. This is literally that. That obviously this this is what it's called. But you're growing. You're you're a new tree. You're a brand new tree. And don't think I'm. And what I'm seeing the most of this is that nobody's giving up on the possibility of there being something amazing. Yeah, this devastation of something being lost, but there is still hope for the future here. 